Well, before we close tonight, I guess you may have heard by now, this yeah. is uh, my last newscast. Did hear that. You know, when it comes to summing up a 52 and a half year career in television news, I want to start with the word gratitude. I want to tell you how grateful I am to have had the opportunity to serve the viewers of the Baltimore area for more than 40 of those 52 years, exactly half of that 52 right here yeah. at WBAL TV. From the first time I stepped through the doors here back in 1978 at the ripe old age of 25, mm. you have welcomed me into your homes each and every night across three generations of television viewers. You know, one doesn't have the kind of successful career I've had without the support of viewers like you. I want to thank you for allowing me to be a part of your households each morning when I was doing the morning show and each evening and trusting me to be your source for trustful information. I hope I've lived up to your expectations. A special thanks right now to law enforcement, firefighting, education, religious, fitness and charitable co communities for the special bonds we've developed over the years in supporting, mentoring and uplifting the community and the thousands of friends I've made along the way. A special thank you to my ophthalmologist for helping me add 30 years to my career wow. after glaucoma left me blind in one eye at a relatively early age, as well as my arthritis specialist and all the surgeons who have helped put this old body back together. You know how that goes, Jerry. After, you know, several I'm not a surgeon, sports but related, in, but you play one on TV. All right, sports related injuries. A huge thank you to all of my friends and teammates here at WBAL TV. I have reaped the benefits of finishing on top because of the very strong support and cast around me and behind me. And finally, thank you to my children. You know, it hasn't been easy being mm, the child of a local news anchor. Like your dad, your lives have constantly been under a microscope with higher than normal expectations. But you have handled it with grace, dignity, respect. And I'm proud of the loving, caring, su successful young adults you've grown to be. So I love you and thank you. My daughter's here. My oldest son is here. Guys, come into the shot. Yes, yeah, I come, on come on into the I shot. The whole group should. Don't you yeah. think so, too? My, my youngest son, Stefan, works for the Wizards. <laughs> They, they, they've got a Wizards oh, have got a go. Wizards have got a game tonight, so he couldn't be here. Stefan, I love you too. Uh, this is Summer. This is Stacy. And while I may be stepping away from the anchor desk, I'll still be living in the area. So if you see me around town, say hello to this old fellow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so thank you again. I love all of you. And as they say, for the last time, that's it for 11 News at six. Thanks for joining us. And that's a wrap. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you guys. This, well done, this, Sam. This You're is the family. pro, buddy. Guess You're I should pro. take the mic again. You can. Right. This, this is family, Jerry. You know, you guys Best come, to, come to work every day. A sheer pleasure, Tom. A sheer pleasure, buddy. Okay. Yep. This yep. is what I miss, miss most about this job is the friendship, the camaraderie, and oh my goodness, the laughter. Mm. Uh, and you know what? I had a gift for you that I was going to give you. Mm. How much time do we have? Uh, Not that much. Ten seconds? Okay, I'll you're, give it to you after. Fast anymore. <laughs> she wanted me to bring in the ugliest tie I have, and I have that for her at my desk. Thank you again, Baltimore. I appreciate your love and your support for a lot of years. Have a great night and a holiday that you'll never forget. Oh. Thank you. Well done, Steve. Well done, buddy. Well Thank, done. You. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. You got it, brother. Thank well you. Done, Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Mm. Well done.